Hi, Bam fans! And welcome to this week's edition of Bam Fan TV with On The March videos. Friday night and we took ourselves down to Dollingstown for Star of the North's annual parade. Dollingstown led the way. They walked their own hometown before the parade actually started and they had decorated the town so well. The flags were fluttering in the wind and it looked really impressive as we drove in. Yeah, it was a cool wind on the night but it stayed dry. It was a nice night. Good turnout of people watching the parade and about 17 or 18 bands on the march. We have a clip of Kilmore Fleet Band coming up and they're actually celebrating 150 years of being on the march, on the road and what an achievement it is. Fantastic guys. Congratulations guys. And another clip then of uh, Pride of Bill and McCash. They were sounding really well as they were finishing off just in front of the Orange Hall. And they've a great wee leader. So <laughs> oh, they have. Yeah. Uh, the, and the tartan, absolutely gorgeous, definitely. Put into this a wee clip of uh, some of the things that's coming up over the next couple of weeks. Some big breakfasts, a couple of indoors as well. So now that the winter months is kicking in, a lot of fundraising all starts towards next year. And we've found a few pages too, so we've highlighted them.
uncovered? So just a few prints on the list this weekend. We were actually hoping to take a weekend off and head to the caravan for a bit of a break. But yep. if I well, can get my way and twist an arm, we might end up somewhere. There's somewhere. always a band on the horizon. Always a band. Always a band. So coming up uh, with a couple of clips. Last Saturday, of course, was Ulster Day. Years ago, I worked in F.G. Wilson's and my foreman at the time says to me that Ulster Day should be the biggest day of the year. The bands and the parades should be out in every town. And now, about 20 odd years later, it's starting to get that way. Also, a day was celebrated with the Orange, the Apprentice Boys, the 36th Regimental, the Bands. Um, there was things going on all over the country, and you can just see that growing every single year. But two clips coming up, Elaine went and done a bit of video. I thought you weren't going to stop. Yes, I went. I headed to East Belfast over to see the 36th Ulster Division and they were walking from Creek Avon House. Mm -hmm. um, and as you'll see in the clip that we're about to show you, Stormont is in the background. I thought it looked really well, actually. Stormont in the background and we have a clip of Sydney Blues and Royals and then also a clip of the Loyal. Gren's Lotto, the newest prize competition in town, hosted by the Ulster Grenadiers Flute Band. At Gren's Lotto, we offer you the chance to win incredible prizes at a very low cost while donating to local projects and established charities. And it couldn't be easier to enter. Simply head over to raffle.com forward slash Gren's Lotto to register and purchase your tickets. Friends Lotto. Give little. Win large. Change a lotto. see me head over to Sandy Row and I caught up with Saw Memorial and South Belfast Protestant Boys. They accompanied the Apprentice Boys around the area celebrating Ulster Day and you can check out all those videos on our YouTube and our Facebook page and if you haven't already please do subscribe. Yeah we spent most of Saturday in Balmacar Orange Hall. Uh, we were invited by Balmacar Defenders for their indoor 
13 bands they had in attendance. It was a fantastic day and all the bands played really, really well. The hall was absolutely buzzing and really, really packed at some points mm -hmm. along the way. But yeah, the bands were excellent, so they were, and it was really hard for us to choose some clips. But first up, we have Pride of Balmaran. Yeah. Um, they took the stage and, as usual, uh, really really did well they have an absolutely fantastic drum major and she put on a little bit of a show showing us her talent definitely second clip up then is the only accordion on the day which was parkinson accordion and last but not least are our good friends from Carn castle and Larne. they rounded off a fantastic day so they did yeah. and they quite like this little tune it's a nice wee tune they're playing just want to thank you all again for watching and subscribing and every single week and all the comments that you leave below we really do enjoy uh reading the comments and replying so we do really do as Neil said, we are going to take a little bit of a break this weekend, so we'll not necessarily be on the march unless he can twist my arm to go to a couple of prayers. He's fine. But until we see you again, please do take care of yourselves. And don't forget to keep following us. Following them. Goodbye now. Bye.